Hello and uh, welcome to uh, today's discussion on uh, combined list and trim uh, in longitudinal uh, stability of uh, ships. Uh, when a ship is out in the sea, uh, sometimes a situation may arise where a ship is both in trim as well as list. In such a scenario, when you move a mass on board, or suppose you shift a mass from one place to the other when you're adding some mass or when you're some removing some mass then it may lead to a further change in list as well as trim conditions so we will discuss one numerical uh, in which we will explain how such a scenario is handled and uh, uh, please allow me to uh, read the question a ship of 6,000 tons displacement has km 7 meters, kg 6.4 meters, and MCT 1 centimeter is 120 tons meter. The ship has a lift 5 degrees to the starboard and a trim of uh, 0.15 meters by head. So that is uh, 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 what is uh, given in the uh, question. So uh, the list, the list value is given to be as uh, five degrees, and uh, the trim is uh, given to be. You can see the trim is 0.15 meters by head, and the ship is to be brought upright and trimmed 0.3 meters by stern. That is the requirement. So the new trim has to be 0.3 meters by by stern. And uh, uh, the new list has to be, to set the ship has to be upright. Upright means no list condition. So uh, initially the ship is set to be at 5 degrees list. It has to be brought upright. And the ship is having a trim of 0.15 meters by head. Uh, it has to uh, be trimmed to 0.3 meters by stern. Now how this is to be done? By transferring oil from uh, uh, number 2 db tank to number 5 db tank where are these tanks that will be the next question coming in our mind where are these tanks uh, in the ship so uh, please allow me to uh, uh, just construct a, a diagram uh, both tanks are divided uh, at the central line and the centers of gravity are 6 meters out from the central line Number two tank holds 200 tons of oil on each side and is full. Number five holds 120 tons on each side and is empty. And the center of gravity of number two tank is 23.5 meters forward of midship. And number five is 21.5 meters aft of midship. So if I can draw a ship here like this. So uh, your midship will be somewhere here and uh, I can draw here the number 2 tank is uh, set to be 23.5 meters suppose if imagine this is one tank so this distance is given to be 23.5 meters uh, uh, this is for number 2 tank this is forward of midship forward of midship okay and uh, again if I uh, take uh, number 5, this is 21.5 meters aft of midship. So this tank is somewhere here. Again, uh, just for representation, I am drawing this figure. Uh, it's actually, the tank location may not be at this exact position, but just to give you an idea. So uh, it is said that uh, number 5 is 21.5 meters aft of midship. So this distance is uh, 21.5 meters aft of midship. So now I think you have got an idea of um, how the uh, uh, tank uh, locations are in the longitudinal direction. The question is how much oil must I transfer? How much oil must I transfer so that I can achieve this desired uh, list as well as uh, uh, trim? That is the question uh, asked. Let us see uh, how the solution is uh, uh, taken. 
So now to bring the ship to the required trim, you know the present trim is one point uh, one five meters by head, and the required trim is point three meters by stern. So the change of trim will be from point one five by head to point three by stern. So we need to add these values because the nature of the trim is changing from forward to aft by head to stern. So we need to add this uh, value. So change of trim will be 0.45 meters by stern because the final value is to be by stern. This is by stern. That will be 45 centimeters by stern. So the trimming moment will be the change of trim into MCT value. So uh, the change of trim is 45 into MCT given for this draft for this business 120. So the trim moment we get as 5400 tons meter. And this moment is to be generated by stern. So how do we generate this trimming moment? As given in the question, we need to transfer oil okay, from number 2 to number 5. So let this amount of oil to be transferred be W. So W tons of oil, uh, we calculate in terms of tons of oil is transferred from number 2 to number 5. So that this much trimming moment is generated. So the trimming moment is nothing but uh, mass into distance moved so 45 into w where 45 is the distance as you can see in this figure 45 is the distance from number 2 tank to number 5 tank i'm adding both these values that will be 45 so 45 into w will be uh, 5400 from this we can easily calculate w will be 120 tons so we can understand that in terms of longitudinal uh, stability in terms of trim if we transfer 120 tons of oil aft, the ship will be trimmed 0 0.30 meters by stern as required in the question. So half of your answer is done. As we have discussed already, we have not considered anything about list. We have only considered about trim. So this is uh, half of our answer, which is over. Now let us go to the, uh, the list calculation. So as per list, we need to bring the vessel to upright position. Upright position, that is no list condition. So the KM value of your ship is given. The position of meta center is given to be at 7 meters. KG is uh, 6.4. So your GM will be 0.6 meters. In triangle G, G1, M, your G, G1 will be GM tan theta. Uh, which is 0 0.6 into tan 5 because initially our uh, ship is having a uh, list of 5 degrees. So G, G1 will be 0 0.0525 meters. So let X tons of oil be transferred from starboard side to port side to uh, achieve the no list condition. So again the idea of uh, the idea of calculation is same. The moment for this will be x into d where d is the distance move which will be 12 which is uh, again given in the uh, in the question if you uh, go back to the uh, the question it is said that uh, uh, both tanks are divided at the central line and their centers of gravity are 6 meters out from central line so both tanks are 6 meters away from central line so 6 plus 6 will be 12. So that is how this uh, 12 meter value has uh, come here. So 12 into x will, will be the moment generated. So the initial moment uh, to starboard is w into gg1. So uh, where w is the mass displacement of the vessel into gg1 that will be 315. So both these moments will be same. So if we equate I get value of x as 26.25. So the ship can be brought upright by transferring 26.25 tons from starboard to port. So uh, uh, now this can be done either in the uh, number 2 uh, starboard to port or number 5 starboard to port or we can equally divide between these two tanks. So you can you have seen in this question that uh, we have solved uh, this question one by one. First we have taken trim. Only the formulae, the calculations of trim were taken at that instant. Then we have solved for list. Only the formulae and uh, calculations for list were taken. So this is the method by which uh, we, we solve these type of questions. I hope you have understood. If you have any doubt, please feel